Hi guys, in this video I'm going to walk through how to make a Linux bootable USB inside Windows. In this case I'm using Windows 11 but these steps can be applied to Windows 10 and Windows 7 as well. And for example I'll be using the Arch Linux GUI ISO in this uh, case but this applies to all other Linux distributions ISOs. For those of you who are new to the channel and to the Arch Linux GUI project, this project helps you to install vanilla Arch Linux with help of a graphical installer. So I've made a video on that already. I'll put the link in the description for you to check out. So if you want to make a bootable USB in Windows, a Linux bootable USB, you need first of all the ISO which you want to uh, burn to the USB device, a USB device and then a disk burning utility. Either of these two, uh, Rufus or Bellino Etcher. Rufus works best on Windows for me and the application size is also less. Bellino Etcher on the other hand is around 100 megs and it's uh, People say that Bellina, the company behind Etcher, uh, has put some telemetry modules inside Etcher and uh, it's privacy concerning. So in this video, I'll be taking a look at Rufus uh, because a lot of people uh, who are using the Arch Linux GUI project have questions. So the first thing we need to do is of course open Rufus, double click on that and then you will get a prompt. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes. So this is the Rufus window. What we want to do right now is uh, insert a USB device. As you can see that under device, we have nothing uh, to show because my USB device is not uh, attached to the computer right now. So uh, when we say that we want to make a bootable U uh, USB, it means that uh, we are going to boot from the USB device. And what are we going to boot from the USB device? That is the Linux distribution. In this case, it's Arch Linux. So you want to plug in your USB device Rufus and Windows will detect it. Uh, what you want to do is basically uh, back up all of your data on the USB device because that is going to be wiped off. And then once you have backed it up, maybe in your D drive, you can go ahead and select your disk or ISO image. Uh, so make sure this is selected under the boot selection option and then click on select. And then you want to locate your ISO, which is probably going to be inside the downloads folder. Double click on it. And as you can see that, uh, this has been selected. You want to make sure the partition uh, scheme for the bootable USB is MBR and this uh, this will work on both for BIOS and UEFI systems. Now the next thing we want to do is go ahead and click on start. Now this will ask you whether you want to write an ISO image or write the same thing in DD mode. So what you want to do is uh, select DD mode. This is because in ISO image uh, in, in, in the first option the ISO image a lot of distributions can't boot in UEFI BIOS boot mode. The DD mode is recommended because uh, if you've seen my uh, video where I show you how to make a bootable USB in Linux, DD is the command we use to make a bootable USB in Linux. So this is basically that. Uh, all you have to do right now is go ahead and click on OK. Uh, this will warn you that all the data on the device is going to be wiped off. So this is where you want to make sure that you have all your data backed up already. And then you can click on that or click on OK once you have made sure. This is going to take some time, so I'll be back when this is done. All right, so as you can see, Rufus has finished making the bootable USB. You can now use this USB to boot from either legacy BIOS or UEFI BIOS boot mode computers. This is how we make a bootable USB in Windows. If you like this video, please do subscribe. And also don't forget to check out the Arch Linux GUI project. All the links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a nice day.